Hi everyone, this is John Michael for a new episode of Insect Discovery. And right now we are looking at one of my big wolf spider. And, um, oops, sorry. There is another one right here. Uh, this was the one I was talking about. And there is a third one. So, wolf spiders are truly interesting. I believe this is a male. And I I can clearly, uh, well, the way why I say it is a male is because look at his abdomen. It is pretty slim and uh, the male is pretty fast. And the two others are pretty much uh, female to me. Simply because look at this uh, huge abdomen. Uh, it is pretty big and obvious that this uh, spider right here she will have some um, babies real soon so she will leg, uh, lay egg and uh, she will actually um, lay egg do a little ball uh, white ball of eggs and she will carry it uh, with her until the uh, eggs are ready to hatch and the baby uh, will burst of this uh, cocoon of eggs and they will run all over the place and they will uh, know how to hunt uh, real soon in their life. Uh, if you want uh, a spiders for a pet um, I will strongly suggest wolf spiders. The first reason is that um, they are really hardy um, I mean I have a lot of them and I I can leave this uh, vivarium for like days or even weeks and I will not be afraid um, for them simply because they can survive really long without food and uh, they they are basically hunters so in a vivarium like this with a lot of uh, source fo food um, they can pretty much take care of themselves also uh, contrary to mut uh, sorry contrary to lots of other spiders uh, they are not great climbers and what i mean is that uh, in this vivarium, yes, they can climb on the rocks, they can climb on the branch, they can climb even uh, on the grass, but they cannot uh, climb glass. So, even if I have like a big hole that they can, uh, that would be really a great way for them to escape, uh, they simply cannot. Uh, third reason for me to like them is simply because um, they don't do webs either so what they do is um, they pretty much have the the lifestyle of a tarantula so that means that um, they are ambush predator but also hunters and instead of uh, building a web they will dig a little burrow and they will um, wait for a prey to come and then they catch them or they will actively hunt um, other insects and even other spiders because um, I wouldn't be surprised if um, some spiders in my vivarium get uh, eat by other spiders simply because think about it um, Contrary to beetles or flies or other type of insect, uh, spiders have a really weak exoskeleton and they don't fly and um, it only takes one bite from a big spiders to kill another one. So it is a really easy target uh, for, well you know, big spiders are known to eat smaller spiders and you really don't uh, need to be afraid of this uh, simply because it is normal in nature that they do that and it will uh, arrive in your vivarium so don't grow attached um, to a spider simply because uh, most likely they will eat each other's but they will also reproduce uh, themselves so in this setup I will always have a lot of spiders and Yes, uh, this weekend I was uh, out 
to do some camping and I didn't feed the tank or anything and look at them they are all super happy and they really enjoy the uh, vivarium and this vivarium is the perfect setup for them uh, they have a lot of uh, little leaves that they can hide in uh, they, they have like all of that that they can bury they have bury sorry they have um, rocks that they can go um, below so really they have a lot of, um, of opportunity to uh, claim some territory they are pretty much semi-nomadic um, the female will usually uh, claim a little piece of territory for themselves while they will borrow and the males are more active hunters so it is pretty interesting to uh, look at them um, also they are non-venomous so oh, this one is hiding under uh, this moss but um, well they like I said they they are non uh, venomous for uh, human so all spiders can bite all spiders have venom but uh, most spiders aren't dangerous for human and believe me I've been beat uh, bit sorry bit by a lot of spiders in my life especially wool spiders but I never had any problem um, they they cannot pierce uh, skin and even if they did um, I wouldn't be afraid because their uh, their venom is way too weak to affect us human so um, yes that was a little look at my wool spiders I'm sorry if you're scared of spiders but believe it or not I am quite scared of spiders too but really wool spiders um, are awesome and uh, they're God's perfect uh, predator and yeah in another video I will uh, show you how to take a little bit more care for wool spiders but uh, really for a setup like this um, wool spiders are the perfect uh, um, invertebrate um, I still don't know the English name for this bug but um, wool spider don't bother him so it is perfectly safe to keep uh, that uh, crustaceous actually with uh, those spiders um, and both can enjoy this type of environment well where there is a lot of dead leaf moss and a little bit of grass um, I really like uh, my vivarium simply because it is looking more and more natural but um, with wool spiders uh, you can uh, keep them in a you know in a, oh sorry in a in a buckle so a fish bowl and they would be perfectly fine um, some little container like this would be perfectly uh, correct for them simply because wool spiders don't need a lot they just need a little bit of earth to bury themselves uh, a little bit of humidity and some food so if you provide them with that uh, you will have a really happy spider and if you don't want uh, some um, some spiders to, be to get eat by other bigger spiders um, I strongly suggest that you keep them uh, separate so one spider for each container but really if you want to uh, replicate na nature at its best um, do like me so put a lot of uh, species in the sa same vivarium and look at what happened um, so believe it or not um, I will have some reproduction real soon so uh, this spider will more like most likely have some eggs in the next few days and when that happen I will do a video about this uh, re well I will do a video about that and yes 
wolf spiders can take care of themselves. Um, they're perfectly inoffensive for us and um, uh, sorry, harmless. And yes, they're pretty cool as well. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you soon. Oops. Sorry, I'm trying to do the outro, but my cell phone has a hard time to focus on such a small animals. Alright, see you soon. Bye.